Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion, hosted by iClone 3D. I'm Trista Ross and in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at how to create motion and we're specifically going to use the SLE to create that motion. Now what SLE is, it just means start, loop and end. So we're going to create the start, we're going to loop the motion and then we're going to you know, create the end motion. So it's really uh, simple to do and it actually is really effective for when you need to kind of you know, loop a certain motion for an extended period in the scene. Uh, for example, in this scene, as you can see, we've got the character walking up some stairs. And what we're going to do is we're going to loop that motion so he goes all the way up the stairs. And um, I'm going to show you how to do that very quick and very simply. So all we're going to do is we're going to go to the point in our timeline where the character begins to walk up the stairs. And then we're just going to right click, go to root motion, and we're going to sample hip to root X, Y, Z. So it really is that simple. Now, once we've done that, we're going to choose the loop area and we're going to break it into sections. So just at this point here where the character kind of walks up the step, we want to break it just here. And it's quite important just to remember the position and the pose the character's in where you're going to break it because you want to kind of get as close to that when you're breaking it for the loop at the end section. And what I mean by that is at this point here, we just want to find the exact same kind of foot pose as you can see here and then we're just going to break it here and this is going to serve as our loop so we've already got our start at the beginning and we've already sampled the root motion to the hip and now we're just going to work on this little loop section here so what we want to do is we just want to move this out of the way and then we're going to copy and paste this and we're going to create the loop here so as you can see it loops but there is a bit of foot sliding so we just want to correct that and it's a very simple procedure to do all we're going to do is right click and then we're going to align the root to the left toe and that will then fix the foot sliding for you there as you can see really quick process to do that and then we can just add a little bit of blend just to further smoothen that out now what we want to do next is we just want to actually merge those two clips together so we'll just right click and we'll select both of the clips and then we're going to merge the clips to make them one clip and then we can actually cut them in half and delete that bit and we can drag out how we want to loop it here so it's really um, really that simple and now you can see we've got this amazing loop motion that is going up the stairs. Now you can see it's going a little bit off the axis here. It does drift to the left of the screen. Now it's a very quick and easy fix. All we want to do is select our motion direction control and here on our Z axis we're just going to fiddle that over a little bit and we'll change that to 1.2 and you can see that straightens that out perfectly for you. And now we're just going to work on the end part of that motion. So we just want to find that exact same kind of foot posture, the pose where the character is just stepping up the stairs, just like this. We're going to break it here. We'll delete that part and then we're going to just actually copy and paste and we'll just create that loop again. And now you'll see uh, it will loop perfectly with the end position. So really is that simple to do. We're just going to copy and paste. And then you can see here there's a little bit of foot sliding again, as we've done earlier. We're just going to right click it and we're going to just align to the left foot this time. And now you'll see that will fix the foot sliding. So, you know, really simple stages. We can add a bit of blend here just to further smoothen that out and you'll see the results look really, really cool and there's no more foot sliding. So now if we actually look at that as a whole, you'll see the character walks up the stairs and then it starts with the end motion. Now, of course, we do need to loop the motion a little bit more, as you can see, he's not going up to the top of the stairs. And uh, we'll do that very simply. Before we do, we're gonna merge the two clips here. So we're just gonna merge them and then we'll cut the end point that we don't need. And then we're just gonna use our little loop function here and we're gonna drag the motion out just to loop it a little bit more. And then when we place that end scene there, you'll see it really does flow and fit in time and it's really that simple to do. We can rename it all so we just know exactly what we're kind of working with. So I'll rename them and we'll name this the loop. And then here is our end. So we'll just name that as end, which is, um, you know, again, really, really simple way to kind of, you know, loop motion and, you know, really work with these motions and be flexible and extend them to however long you need. Now you can see our characters walking up the stairs. We've looped the motion. It looks really smooth, really good. And, you know, we can loop it for as long as we need. As you can see, we're going right the way up these stairs and then our end motion will kick in and it looks amazing and the character will run down the stairs. So really that simple to do guys. Um, you know, it really is a matter of just 
creating your start loop and your end motion, aligning your position, your foot positions, just to kind of eliminate any foot sliding. And we can always recalibrate the direction the character's moving by using the motion direction puppet tool. And that will then kind of redirect the motion to wherever you want it. And it really is that simple. So really hope this tutorial helps and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.